I'm Ron Norton with Calpa Firearms. We're out here at Vine Valley Shooting Grounds here in Dayton, Ohio. Give you a little review of our new personal defense line of handguns. Okay, I'm back from the range where I had the opportunity to spend some quality time with the Calpa personal defense line of handguns. I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you some of the specific features of our new pistols. First, let's start with what I feel is a flagship product, the Model 27. The Model 27 features a steel slide and alloy frame that weighs in at just a mere 24 ounces. This rivals the weight and size of many polymer frame handguns. It's also available with a solid steel frame that's just a little heavier but still weighs in at 32 ounces empty which is a respectable weight. I personally prefer a little extra weight which feels more balanced to myself and allows for faster follow-up shots due to the recoil reduction. Speaking of recoil reduction, the Model 27 uses a reverse slide groove channel very similar to the CZ75 and the SIG P210. This allows the slides to ride on the inside of the frame rails instead of the outside. This design allows for a very tight slide to frame fit with a very efficient barrel lockup, with the slide being much lower than the typical configuration. The lower slide provides a lower bore axis, which equates to minimal muzzle flip and less felt recoil. The Model 27 is available in two action styles. The standard model features a double action single action with a thumb safety. The standard Model 27 gives the user two carry options. With a hammer down, your first shot is delivered with a double action pull of the trigger, with a subsequent shot fired with a single action pull of the trigger. The Model 27 can also be carried in a cocked and locked or condition one carry just like a 1911 style pistol. I only recommend this method for experienced handgunners. However, it is my preferred method of carry. For the less experienced shooters, or for those who prefer a safe action, which many law enforcement agencies require, we have the Model 27 Double Action Only, which offers the same features of the standard model, only in a DAO version. The DAO version has no external thumb safety and no hammer spur. The hammer automatically falls into the down position when the slide is released, or when a round is chambered. Every shot of the Double Action Only is delivered with a DA pull of the trigger. Our Double Action Act action was modified, removing about 30% of the trigger travel while maintaining a very smooth 67 pound double action cycle. This style of action yields extremely reliable function with minimal muscle memory required, which in a high stress situation is invaluable. The restrike capability of both Model 27 versions offers a distinct tactical advantage over other handgun designs that do not have restrike capability such as the 1911 and many of the striker fire designs that have, been become, that have become very popular over the last few years. With a 1911 or a striker fire, such as a Glock, should you have a DNF during a shooting situation, the shooter must manually cycle the action, discharging the round that failed to fire, chambering a fresh round, and re-engaging the target. Usually, when a shooter experiences a DNF with a semi-auto pistol, the cartridge was not seated properly into the chamber either due to an obstruction such as dirt, grit, or even lint, or the slide failed to have the energy necessary to properly seat the cartridge into the chamber. When the hammer is released onto the cartridge, the loss of energy due to the obstruction or due to the slide not being fully engaged does not provide the necessary energy to discharge the round. About 99% of the time, the first hammer strike will actually seat the DNF cartridge, and if the DNF round is restruck with the hammer, it will most likely discharge. With a D8 pistol that has restrike capability, the shooter would simply re-engage the target or threat with a pull of the trigger, and then perform a malfunction drill only if the round did not discharge on the second strike. The Model 27 is a high capacity pistol featuring a magazine with a 15 round capacity, and it's patterned after the very popular and reliable Smith & Wesson Model 59 magazine. And with the ever-increasing performance of a 9mm cartridge for defensive purposes, the Model 27 makes a perfect choice for the professional who wants a single gun choice. In other words, the Model 27 is large enough and capable enough for conventional duty carry while being small enough and compact enough for concealed carry for plain clothes assignments, off-duty, and it's the perfect choice for the discriminating concealed carry user. The Model 27 pistol fits a variety of holsters and usually works well with a SIG 228 or 229 family of holsters. Of course, there will be plenty of holsters being made specifically for the Model 27 in the near future. 
Now, one of the best benefits that I failed to mention on the Model 27 so far is the price. Uh, both the double action only version and the standard double single version retails at $495. Okay, our next pistol is the ever popular M9. The Kiapa M9 is our version of the government model M9 that is now battle proven for over two decades. All of our personal defense handguns are being manufactured by Bursan in Turkey, who is one of the world's premium military arms manufacturers. And they are all manufactured using strict military specification standards, and the M9 is no exception. The performance of our M9, in my opinion, will rival that or exceed the performance of any other M9 available on the market in the world today. We have also included a compact version of the M9, and they are both available in both 9mm and 40 SW calibers. And price point for both of these pistols, retailing at $495 for either pistol. Now, last but not least, the Kiapa 1911-45. If you remember, Kiapa was the first company to produce an actual production model 1911 style pistol that was dedicated with a 22 caliber rimfire chamber. Well, the, the success of this great little pistol, which this is one of them, this is our newest 1911-22 custom with many custom features like the extended and beveled magazine well, mag bumpers, extra checkering, just a great little training gun. Well, with the introduction of this, I've been asked many times, when are we going to build a 1911 and 45? Well, to answer your questions, folks, here it is. The 1911 Kiapa 1911 45. It features many of the custom features that you just won't find on 1911 anywhere at the same price point. Over the years, I've built many custom 1911s for both competitive and personal carry. When we went to the drawing board to design uh, our new 1911-45, we <laughs> it took little effort. We simply designed a production gun that had the had many of the features that I always put in our custom guns. For starters, we chose a Novak-style polymer sight with fiber optics. The utilization of a lightweight polymer sight minimizes the weight of the slide, and the constant color of the molded front sight ensures that there will be no unwanted glare from the finish wearing off of a steel sight. We grew the front grip and chose a serrated flat mainspring housing. The slide has very aggressive serrations milled into the rear and to the front at an angle which allows even wet and slippery hands a very firm grip. The frame is drilled and tapped for a tactical rail that is included, giving the shooter the option to run with or without the rail. The hammer is a combat style skeletonized hammer with a combat style trigger that has a very crisp five pound pull with an extremely short reset to ensure fast follow-up for competition and tactical advantages. The thumb safety is extended with a standard style slide release with a very prominent checkering to allow easy manipulation but with minimal profile to eliminate issues while carrying. The extended beaver tail grip safety ensures a solid grip without the fear of a slide pinch on the web of your hand. The finish is an industrial matte black finish with a matte hard chrome finish on the barrel. This prevents, prevents any additional glare as well. And finally, a touch of class with a beautiful olive wood grip panels with a classic diamond checkered pattern. The result is a 1911 that has a looks and function that will be right at home with any serious 1911 collector or will make the perfect choice for the first time 1911 buyer. And at $549 suggested retail, you just can't go wrong. So contact your local dealer today and ask them about the new Kiapa personal defense line of handguns or you can visit us on the web at kiapafirearms.com.